Hey, what's up guys, it's Yeti here. In today's video, I wanted to make a step-by-step -step guide on some of the methods that I use to make my World of Warcraft UI look more modern and HD. These are methods that have all been shown on my stream or even mentioned in some of my previous videos, but I wanted to make like a bit of a messy step-by-step -step video really showing you how I skin these elements in my World of Warcraft UI to make it look better, more modern, more HD. So thank you guys for watching and let's get into the video. So chapter one of this video is going to be HD icons. As you can see, I have a recording of my mage running around Dornagal right here. Let's wait for me to target a person and let's stop right here. I want to show you why these HD icons are so good and of course how to get them as well. If you look at my spell bars right here, you can see the icons are a lot more HD. If you look at the player, the, or sorry, the target frames, buffs and debuffs, they're all consistent squares with black outlines. And of course, my buff and debuff window looks a lot better as well. Again, the borders are consistent and they look same across the board. This can be done by an icon pack called Clean Icon Mechanome Edition. So this is the website where you're going to download the zip folder. And if you go click on the latest release right here, you're going to get a pretty big file. I have already pre-downloaded it because this is, I think, roughly 1.5 to 2 gigabytes right now. And every time there is a new version of the game, the author makes sure to upload the new versions of the icons. And the way I highly recommend you to patch this is by deleting all the old icons getting the new zip and just extracting it to the root of where I will show you in a second. So this is the pre-downloaded zip file of the Clean Icons Mechanome Edition. There are a couple of TGA files and a folder, which you're all going to extract inside your interface. This can be done for either retail World of Warcraft or classic World of Warcraft. It actually does not matter because the icons included here should cover all the versions of whichever World of Warcraft you're playing. This should, generally speaking, make your icons look better without any performance impact, or it should not be measurable because there are just thousands of, you know, 65 kilobyte files in here that should not clog up the performance and make the game look pretty damn good. I also go a step further and I use uh, Mask Clean Icons. So for those of you who do not know, Mask is an add-on that uh, can remove borders or skin your icons in some way. And I only use this on Dominoes because World of Warcraft, it was Dragonflight, introduced those weird borders around the icons of the spells. And I use Mask Clean Icons, which is a specific mask version that was made for this texture pack. Uh, and I uploaded this onto my Discord because if you get the version from Cursefort, it's not going to work. However, you do need normal mask as well. And make sure when you go into mask menu, you select mask clean icons and you disable it for anything except uh, dominoes or bartender or whatever you're using for your bars because you do not need it for other places because the borders are not present anywhere else anyways. The next chapter of this video is going to be talking about raid frames. As you can see right here, my raid frames are very consistent. They are using a flat texture all across the board for both health bar or, you know, optionally if you want to include the mana bar as well. Uh, of course, you do need to use raid style party frames if you want this to be active in party frames as well. Otherwise, you're just going to have the round kind of like player slash target version of Blizzard frames, but that, that's not what this video is about. So I want to show you how to get this and how to import it. These textures are a part of Mir's GUI texture pack. However, this texture pack is actually from 2020 and is very, very out of date. And I've only extracted the rate frame portion and posted on my Discord. Once you are on my Discord, go back to the Yeti UI channel. You might have to scroll a bit down and scroll up to the rate frame texture right here. And I even included a preview from that delve earlier. Once you'll be here, click on the rateframe.zip file. And once again, you should in extract that right into interface. And you will have this rate frame right here. And these are all the specific BLP files. Again, there are a couple of kilobytes each and they will skin your rate frame. So the next thing I skin are chat bubbles. Uh, this works both in open world and inside raids and dungeons as well. 
because again, it is a reskin, it is not an add-on because add-ons are actually not allowed to interfere with chat bubbles because they could be used to a competitive advantage. Anyways, that being said, this is what they look like. There are more different versions with either more or less uh, border and just uh, the texture around it. I can show you where to get it. They are called chat bubble replacements. Again, we are on the uh, GitHub of LVI actually. Uh, they have published this this time. And these are the different versions that you can get to you know, texture your chat bubbles anywhere in World of Warcraft. You're going to download it right here on the bottom by clicking chat bubble replacements.zip. Once you have decided which version you want to use, uh, make sure to open up the uh, you know correct zip. Let's say for me, I like the small ones. I think they look pretty clean. You get a tooltips folder that needs to be extracted once again into your interface of World of Warcraft. So it can be used on retail or classic or anything. You go into tooltips and there it is for me already. I extracted it, but yeah, you just drag it in and you will be done. I also highly advise you to turn off any chat bubble add-ons such as LVI or Pratt to not interfere with bu chat bubbles anymore because you do not need that anymore. This is going to take care of everything by itself. And of course, the last part of this video is probably going to be the most important one. We'll be talking about my font in World of Warcraft. If you've watched my stream or my videos in the past, you know that I use the same font on everything. So player frame, target frame, details, rate frames, and even damage numbers. How do I do that? Well, you see World of Warcraft actually uses, I think it's four different fonts for different elements of their game. And once again, you can create a folder and put files into it. And then World of Warcraft will read from that directory and you can completely replace the, the fonts of your game. So I, for example, if I go into my retail this time, we're not going into interface. We are going to create a new folder called fonts. And in here, these three are generally useless. These just get made as you're playing the game. Don't worry about that. You'll have these four files right here. They are true type font files. And these are just copies of Gilroy Bold, which is the font I use. And I inserted that to make sure it replaces every font in World of Warcraft. And if you want to use my font specifically, I have once again, you've guessed it right, uploaded it onto my Discord. If you go into the Yeti UI uh, section and you go down to fonts, you can see here it's called Gilroy Bold and you can download a zip, which you can once again extract into retail right here. And then this fonts folder will work. And if you want to revert this, these changes, you just delete and it is gone. Same goes for any other element I've mentioned in this video. If you want to get rid of it, you just delete the folders or the files I have showed you here, and it's going to revert because nothing actually changes anything with the game. You're simply adding optional files, which the game actually reads from this directory. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.